Let's discuss some features of the TI-84 calculator that are useful in trigonometry. And what we say about the TI-84 will be very similar for a TI-83. First, we can calculate trigonometric function values for any angle using the sine, cosine, and tangent keys. For example, sine of 53 we can calculate directly by typing in sine of 53 and hitting enter. Uh, so the value there we get is 7, uh, 0.7986. We do need to be a little bit careful. There are two ways to measure angles, degrees and radians, and the mode key allows us to change the calculator setting to be either in radians or degrees and we want to make sure we're in degree mode as we are so that was the value that we want. If we were in radian mode we would have uh, found the sine value for 53 radians. For cotangent things are a little bit more complicated. Uh, cotangent is not directly available on the calculator but it is the reciprocal of tangent so I can enter 1 divided by tangent of 14 degrees to find the value for cotangent. So the value for cotangent is 4.01. Another nice feature, partial degrees can be described in two different ways, either with decimal degree notation or in terms of degrees, minutes, and seconds. As the names minutes and seconds kind of suggest, there are 60 minutes in one degree and there are 60 seconds in one minute. Minutes are denoted with a single apostrophe um, or quotation mark and seconds are denoted with double quotation marks. So without a calculator, 0.5 we see that half of a degree, well if there are 60 minutes in a degree that means that 31.5 could be written as 31 degrees and 30 minutes, because 30 would be half of the minutes that it takes to get to a degree. The calculator's angle menu can help us calculate that without, uh, I don't know, without thinking, uh, but, uh, but can help us calculate that, and if there's a more complicated number, it would help us ca uh, calculate that. So what I would want to do is type in 31.5 and then go to the angle menu using the second command and choose option 4, uh, the DMS conversion command. And we can see that 31 degrees is in fact, sorry, 31.5 degrees is in fact 31 degrees and 30 minutes. To convert the other way, let's say we want to convert 68 degrees 6 minutes and 18 seconds into decimal degree notation there are two ways to do that. Again, going to the angle menu, we can explicitly identify the 68 that I just entered as 68 degrees. We can identify the 6 as 6 minutes, option 2, and 18 seconds can be identified as 18 seconds by going down above the plus key the, uh, the green command is a double quotation mark to access that we want to use the alpha key and then the double quotation mark so entering this and hitting enter will give us a decimal value 68.105 for the degree, second, and minute value. We can also directly convert seconds to minutes and minutes to degrees by dividing by 60. Essentially, the value that we're looking for is 68 plus 6 divided by 60 plus 18 divided by 60 squared. To do that in the calculation, uh, with, with the calculator in stages, we can take 18, divide by 60, 
that takes the number of seconds and turns it into 0.3 minutes. If I add 6, I get the total number of minutes, and then I can divide that by 60 to get the decimal uh, amount of degrees. So let me end with a quick question. Take a moment from what you've just seen in the video, try to turn 25.863 degrees into uh, DMS notation and try to turn 43 degrees and 14 minutes into decimal degree notation. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.